No, that's true. How, how did you find the rap battles? Was that kind of your niche at that time? Well, I mean, uh, it, it was it was different. It was a new sort of scene. I thought I'd I'd step into. I was never never as scared to try new things, but yeah. I feel like I should have probably had a bit more practice before going into <laughs> that side of it. But well, you live and learn. Is that based on you looking back at your videos? And, and yeah, that, looking yeah. back at some of the other ones. Yeah, but um, yeah, we've done all right. We made some noise. Got a few views. That's good. But, yeah. yeah it was all good. I feel I feel like anything you look at like ten years ago, you're gonna be like, oh, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, some of it, some of it, I look back and I think this is better than some of the stuff I make now. But oh, fair enough, a lot yeah. of it, you know, when you're young, you you don't you cringe a little bit when you're in your old squeaky voice. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. And with the rap battles, is it mostly like off off the head, off the top, or is it? Nah, nah. You you got a certain amount of time to prepare and write your um, okay. material, which is again where I went wrong. One of the biggest learning curves for me was to. Never wait till the week before to start writing. Always have your stuff prepared. You know? Oh, I see. From failure to prepare, prepare to failure, as they say. So yeah. We learned some lessons. Okay, so you base the lyrics on your opponent, kind of want to cut Yeah, him. yeah, it's yeah. all about uh, anything. Finding out what you can and uh, adding some sort of comic value to it and witty punchlines, you know, being a bit clever with it. But again, it's got to appeal to the type of audience uh, that are likely to watch it, you know, and you've got to, there's a science behind it. It's yeah. so. It's so tricky, but like I say, it's all learning curves. Ah, oh, fair enough. 